Okay, so welcome everyone to our seminar on uh, LinkedIn uh, for small business. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, sorry for the technical difficulties that we had, but you know, that's a way of life these days. So um, we are going to be talking about using the LinkedIn company page to grow your business. And our presenter is Janine McGreal who is a mentor with the uh, North Cook and Lake County's chapter of SCORE. And um, my name is John Fisher, and I am one of over 65 mentors with our SCORE chapter and will be uh, today's moderator. So as a reminder, this is being recorded and will be made available on our YouTube channel uh, later on. And so please submit your questions uh, through the chat function uh, at any time and we will um, start answering those um, even during the session uh, or at the end here. So just to give you a little bit of background on SCORE, uh, SCORE is a nonprofit organization that has been helping small business since 1964. Uh, we have over 10,000 volunteers and about 300 chapters. Uh, so then um, we have also, uh, we provide free confidential mentoring for small businesses, and we have a very large library of resources for those who want to start a business or grow an existing business. And to request a mentor, uh, just simply go to our website, northchicago.score.org, and that will uh, guide you into the uh, place where you can you can request a uh, mentor. You can do that based on keywords, or you can simply just request a mentor that's in the area here. So um, our speaker tonight is Janine McGrill, and she is a mentor. Uh, she is a senior executive with over 35 years of progressive experience in business management, financial accounting, and human resources management. Uh, she was a controller for various uh, organizations in real estate, banking, and private equity. So she is a self-professed LinkedIn junkie, uh, we <laughs> hope so, for tonight here, uh, who enjoys helping people improve their LinkedIn profiles and their company pages. So she personally manages uh, several uh, company pages and uh, learns new things daily and enjoys teaching LinkedIn benefits and tips. So Janine, please start your presentation here and we'll be back for questions a little bit later on. Well, great, thank you, John. Everybody can hear me, right? Say yes. Um, so. I'm so happy to be here uh, to present on LinkedIn company pages. Um, I'd like to start with my objective for the night. Um, my objective is to explain how easy it is to set up your company page, why it is so critical for your brand. Uh, number three is that your customers and your prospects want to hear from you. They want to need, they want you to share content with them and, and share your subject matter expertise with them. And finally, that you are not alone. I, um, I make it a point, um, I love everything about LinkedIn. So I'm always available for questions, um, consultations. I'll help anyone uh, to get their professional and personal uh, branding up on LinkedIn and start using it to the best of their ability. So without further ado, uh, just a little bit about me. John was excellent in his uh, bio. Um, I have been a SCORE volunteer since March of 2021, and I really do love it. I love helping small business owners. Um, I've helped about nine people so far in uh, 2021 and everybody from a transportation, uh, a new transportation company to uh, a, a new YouTuber. So it's been a, it's been a treat. Um, I am a self-professed LinkedIn junkie. I, I post every day. I follow all my notifications. I say happy birthday to people and I comment on anniversaries. And just to give you a little summary of how I became so enthralled with LinkedIn is um, I'm originally from the South side of Chicago. And back when I was little, I used to re read Irv Kupsinitz columns every day. 
and every day I would say, I want to be just like Irv Cups in it. So one day I read an article about him that said that he was uh, notorious for keeping every business card he ever, um, any person he ever met, he kept their business card and he put it in a shoebox. And his wife would complain because the shoeboxes would take over their their home. So when I first started working, I started collecting business cards. And by the time I met uh, the gentleman who I'll talk about in a minute, Larry Kaufman, I had a bunch of Rolodex Rolodexes, if you remember the Rolodexes from back when, and I had stapled all of the business cards to about three full size Rolodexes. And that's when in 2006, I met LinkedIn Larry Kaufman, who's on the call today. And he told me about this little thing, this little platform called LinkedIn. So ever since then, I've taken all of those business cards and I've transferred them to what I do now is every day, post, share, like, and stay top of mind. So I encourage, you know, LinkedIn has a unique algorithm in the background. It, it promotes and rewards people that are active on LinkedIn. So it's in your best interest to, um, you know, tag, tag your customers, ta tag your vendors, tag people that, that are um, important to your business. And that, that, that will only flourish the more that you, that you invest in your LinkedIn companies, either, either in your personal or in your professional uh, pages. So as John mentioned, I do um, manage three LinkedIn company pages. So I'd like to right now take you a little bit to, uh, to take a look at some of those company pages. So I'm just gonna flip my screen to LinkedIn. So here I am. Um, the easy way to get to my company pages is if I click on my profile up top and then I scroll down to, I'll pick the second one, which is the CSCMP Talent Center company page. And what that's going to show you is that you know, it's it's pretty it's a pretty powerful tool. And I'll get into it has, you know, there's 740 million users of LinkedIn. And 39% of people use it at least monthly. Not crazy like me and use it every day, but they use it, they use it. So the, the idea that you have a brand and you have a business you have to have a LinkedIn company page. It's not optional at this point. And what I think is so powerful is some of the unique things that are behind the company pages. And if you don't have one, you don't really know that this is all there. There's a great feature called the analytics, which taps into the behind the scenes, what's happening with your company page. It tells you your metrics. What, what's that, you know, how, how is the activity? Are people responding? And what are the demographics behind your LinkedIn followers? It also, if you click up again on the analytics, it also takes you to your updates. What's happening with your updates? And you can even drill down into your clicks, your impressions, and what kind of reactions you're getting from your LinkedIn activity. I find that fascinating. The, um, the analytics also give you a clue as to who's your followers. This I think is extremely important because as you, as you nourish your company page, you will get followers that suddenly just show up on your page. They are organic and they come sometimes fast and furious. All of these people 
that followed my my company page i have no idea who these people are but it it tells me that they're third degree connections that gives me an opening to go find those people on linkedin and start a conversation they've already liked your linkedin page they're going to be willing to connect and if they're not willing to connect you can return the favor and follow them without actually making a connection. LinkedIn is constantly evolving and switching over and becoming, be, becoming open and, and even more powerful with the follow feature. I'm, I'm a big follower of a lot of things on LinkedIn, not necessarily just my connections. Um, the other thing that I really love is um, it's a central repository. The activity page is a central repository for all of the things that you have done on your LinkedIn company page. It tells you what your analytics are. It, it scrolls down. It shows you what, you what you've been posting and how you've been updating. It's got tons and tons of information that you can use to make your LinkedIn company page more and more powerful. Now, those are just a couple of the things that the, the, um, this analytics section um, will, will highlight for you. But I don't wanna get away from what we're really here to do is to see um, Christian. Christian Volpe is our, and I'm going to turn over to my slides again. Christian's on the screen. You say hi, Christian. Um, Hello, everyone. Sorry, I was on mute. That's okay. So getting back to my PowerPoint. Um, Christian Volpe is a new business owner, and he's he's got a company called Transmitter Images. He is also a SCORE client, and he has 413 connections on LinkedIn. And he has so kindly agreed to give us um, give us a demonstration of putting together his own LinkedIn company page. So I'm turning, I've stopped my share and now Christian, you're able to share your screen and, and start the process of actually, we've talked about it a lot, um, but he's, he's going to go to the work button up at the top, go to the drop down and create a company page. Now Christian will pick small business and then start to fill in the, um, the inputs. Now what I did for Christian is I gave him a, uh, a spreadsheet which basically had the things that he had to put in in each of the slots. So you can go ahead, Christian, keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. um, Transmitter Images is his company name. He's going to put in his website. And then add his industry. Pick the number of employees. Mm -hmm. um, Janine, I can't remember if I've got some 1099s. Do I want I to think count I them? would go to two to 10. Okay. You could either either do sole proprietorship, private, privately held. Mm -hmm. the, the beautiful part about LinkedIn is all of these inputs can be changed. Um, it's very user friendly. So Christian's picking his logo and then he's adding his tagline. Um, 
Well, I'll leave it at that for now. You can shorten it up a little bit just for the demonstration if you want. Okay. All right, so I think that's good. And then he'll hit create page. Okay. Now, here is um, the basic information. We, we've also talked about adding a cover image. Did you pick a cover image, Christian? I haven't yet. No, there's a couple new images I just took the other day and I thought about actually using those. Um, so I'll add that. Okay, scroll down. Let's, let's, um, let's, let's add the, up at the top where it says location. Scroll up a little bit, Christian. Mm -hmm. hit, hit the add the button. Okay. And let's let them know where you're at. It's fine. Okay. And hit save. LinkedIn will put that um, that uh, location um, at the bottom of the LinkedIn page, I believe. Okay. You can add up to ten locations when you do this. So now, over on the, um, you can close that button now. And hit no thanks. Don't want to start a post yet. Um, the other really important thing is you want to add that custom button in the center, Christian. Um, oh, yeah. The the visit the website button is important, or or you could use learn more. It it really is um, up to you. No, I think the website button probably makes the most sense for me right now. Okay. And then you want to hit, um, um, I think, scroll down a little bit more so you can save it, I think. Or maybe it, once you just close it, it'll, it'll do it. Okay. Hmm. Maybe not. Now you, can, um, now you can hit view as a member. Hmm. Oh, I don't think it took. Yeah, here, yeah. I'll do it again real quick. Try it one more time. Uh, uh, maybe here. maybe turn it off and on. Okay. okay. Maybe I'll check the visit website. Oh, no, that's not doing anything. Let's go to overview. Okay. Buttons. And then hit hit workplace just a second. This is a new feature. Um, you know, it's like it's like with all the COVID stuff, what kind of work site do you, um, work, workplace model do you have? So you can turn that module, let's turn that module on just for right now mm -hmm. and then hit save. Oh, there's save up there, okay. Uh, maybe I'll just put remote policy or mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that. Save. Now we want to click um, close that and hit view as a member and see what our see what our company page looks like. All right, it's not complete, but it's close. You know the um, the follow button is there, the visit website, more. As you start to post, Christian. You're gonna you're gonna get more and more um, content that you want to add um, that people will be attracted to. The cover the cover image will be helpful, mm -hmm. um, but really it's the posts that are gonna that are gonna bring the people to your site. That and then, sense. okay, all right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take over. Um, it's, Christian, if you want to um, end your share screen. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back to sharing mine. Share. 
So pretty easy, right? Not not that complicated. I think Christian and I talked about it once or twice. We had a template. It uh, basically setting up the the what logo pixels you want to have, um, and now your um, the one thing I would do, um, Christian, is uh, when you go back into your personal profile now. Um, You'll go back to the the experience section of your um, personal profile, and you'll change it so that um, your company page is the thing that gets selected. And then your logo will be a link. So when somebody clicks on your personal uh, profile and hits hits transmit or images, it'll automatically go to that company page. Yeah, I just did that, and the logo's in there now. Under oh, it does. Can mm -hmm. you show us your screen again? I'm going to stop my share. Sure. Show us your screen again. Um, yeah, so I just went, you know, clicked on my profile uh, image up here in the toolbar, came to my personal page, and then just scroll down to experience like Janine was saying. Um, click the pencil button to edit. Um, and then from there, I think it actually, uh, when I clicked this field here, it populated with what we just created. And it was easy as that. And now when you click transmit or images over, over on right there, you click there, it goes right to your company page. Sweet, right? Yeah. I got to build this All thing right. out now. All right. Uh, the only other little uh, caveat is on your on your website, when you put in a LinkedIn company button, you want it to point to the LinkedIn company page. It's something you'll ask your web developer to do. And then you you'll start to gain followers that way, too. So, OK, I'm going to take over again if you'll stop your share, Christian. And I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. Um, the second um, thing I'd like to share with you is um, about meet Sarah Barkman. Sarah is a friend of mine. She's a new uh, business development representative for John Deck Painting. And I noticed on Sarah's uh, posting that she posted a, a beautiful testimonial from a customer. Um, and she wasn't able to link uh, her company page. There was no company page. And there was no linking mechanism in the post. It was a beautiful post. It went to all of her 396 connections, but there was no way for the company, the people, her, her followers to click to see her company page. So I talked to Sarah and convinced her um, to talk to her boss and they created a company page called John Deck Painting. Now, um, the cool thing about John Deck Painting is Sarah has given me administrator rights. So if you go into the admin tools and you scroll down to manage admins, see Sarah has added me as somebody that can post to her company page. The um, LinkedIn has just realized that you can assign various roles, uh, super admin, content admin. You can have a bunch of people um, helping you out with your company page. I think that's a really nice feature. I'm gonna go back. Um, the other thing that you can do with these behind the scenes company page features is you can invite all of your connections to your new company page. There's two methods really. You can do it this way. You can invite them all. You can, you can pick some people. Let's say you met 10 new people this week and you want them all to follow your company page. Hey Janine. Sorry to yes. interrupt. I think you need to share your screen. Oh, sorry. Couple. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Share screen, share screen. Sorry.
Okay, back to invite connections. Um, you can, can everybody see my screen now? Yes? Hopefully. I can see it, yeah. Okay. Um, you can invite connections one at a time or a lot of them. These are all people that wanna support you. Um, they should know about your company page. That's one method. You can, um, you can select, oh, what does it say? Okay. Um, the other thing you can do, which I prefer, is if you scroll down, I'm gonna go back to the main page. If you scroll down, there's this great button called share page. This is so much better of a method. You could share it in a post and say, hey, I just got my company page all set up. I need you to follow me. And you could share it in a post or you could choose this, this method, which is send, in a, send in a message. And this message down here is edit, edit to, you can edit it to, you know, hey, um, I have a new promotion coming out. Uh, why don't you check out my company page? Um, I've gotten lots of followers on my company pages by just doing this very simple, they'll get a, they'll get, they'll get a message. Um, it'll show up immediately in their, in their direct messages. And most often everybody clicks and they become your followers. Um, I love, um, I love that Sarah ha now has a way to, uh, one, one suggestion I had for her is all of the testimonials that she gets for her service. She could make a, a Word document of, of that testimonial and, and post. She can go down here and say, hey gang, um, you know, I wanna attach um, a picture of the, of the testimonial. I want to um, I want to share some of the verbiage from this new test new client testimonial. I can add this as a post and then take that same post once I post it in the company page and then I can post it on my personal page as well. So you get both um, more bang for your buck by putting your posts in both your company page and in your personal page. So. Um, all right, I'm gonna go back. This is, that's just Sarah's, Sarah. Oh, the one other tip for Sarah is her, her website currently posts, um, has a LinkedIn button and it, it goes to her owner's company page. Well, in order for her to get followers, she's gonna wanna tell her web developer to change that company page link to go to her company, her LinkedIn company page so that she can start to amass more and more followers for John Deck Painting. They have a great website. Why not have it in both places? Have a LinkedIn company page, accumulate followers on LinkedIn, have your website, continue to you know flourish the website and add your website, but let's do it in both places get more bang for your buck. Okay, so PowerPoint, back to my PowerPoint. I have one more example before I finish. Um, uh, meet Patrick Johnson. So Patrick, uh, Patrick Johnson runs, he's the president of Vista Research Services. It's a quality market research, research company founded in 2003. Patrick has over 1400 connections on LinkedIn. That's a lot of connections, but he hasn't, and he has a company page, but he hasn't used it to the best of his ability. It's, um, it's, it's a complete page. I'll show you view as a member, but you know, there's, there's no cover image. Um, he's, you know, he, he's not really posting. He's got like details about what he does. See all the details. 
Um, you know, it's got his phone number, it's got his website, it's got his industry. It's got, you know, he's been around for a long, long time, but Patrick isn't working, working the magic for, from LinkedIn. He is a subject matter expert on market research. He needs to post, he needs to like, he needs to share. He, uh, one of the things I talked to Patrick about was this great content button. Now, LinkedIn gives you this content button up at the top and it says, all right, let's pick your industry. Well, we picked market research. And so that gives you all of these 10,000 plus engaged audiences. But if he picks, if he adds something else like, um, Marketing, marketing and advertising. You know, this content thing blows up, not right now, but it does. And it, it gives you an opportunity to, to scroll through all of these, these uh, content pieces and pick one, read it, and then just give a little snippet of, of why that's a really important thing for a relevant piece of information for your followers. The, um, you know, any one of these, he, Patrick could click it, type, type some information, you know, why it's interesting, add a couple of hashtags, even, even, even tag himself, Patrick Johnson, this is interesting. You know, the, the post, if he posts, um, most often, sometimes LinkedIn will actually prompt you. It'll say, you're posting on your company page. Would you like to post personally as well? That's a great feature. Say yes. You want it in both places, more bang for your buck. Um, oh. Um, just a couple of other little things I'd like to, to bring your attention to. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. Um, actually, sorry, this one. Um, I've um, on my what slide up here, I gave you a couple of, of great, great company pages. These in particular, Microfocus, Microsoft, Adobe 4, Cisco, and Salesforce, they have maximized the use of the company page. Not only are they running events from their company page, they're showcasing um, individual brands. They are um, doing just 10 times the, the, just an inspiration for anybody who wants to, to fully utilize their company pages check out these, these um, samples. And then last but not least, um, I, I did give you a, a list of a couple of good resources. There's another great video on YouTube about how to add a company page. It'll walk you through it a little bit like we did. Um, there's a, a great user guide. There's a link in here for a great user guide directly from LinkedIn um, um, for small business. And it, it, it dives super deep into how, how to add followers and how to create posts. And then finally, and, and, and without question, the best thing I can give you, there are two great LinkedIn guides from my mentor, Larry Kaufman. Um, he's given me them access to the, them PDFs. So if you email me at Janine McGreal at scorevolunteer.org, I will get. I will personally make it my mission to get you at, to get you those great PDFs from the infamous Larry Kaufman. So, um, I hope that I have um, next slide. I hope I've explained your, how to set up your company page, why it's critical. Your customers and prospects want to hear from you, and you are not alone. I any questions, let me know. So, I'll open it up to questions. And John, take it away. Yeah, Janine, we've got several questions here. Um, sure. 
So the first one is, uh, what are your thoughts on a company that is currently centered around the owner as a person, as their brand? A company page might not be necessary right now, and they just read an article about this on LinkedIn. What are your thoughts on that? Well, here's my thing. I mean, if you've already, if you've already, as an owner, are inseparable from your company and you've amassed as many followers on a personal level, it may be, it may be redundant. However, there are people that are going to find you on a company page that if they don't know you, they're not going to find you. So like I said, a lot of the a lot of the company page followers that I'm getting are organic. I'm not mm. I'm not searching for those people. They're just showing up. So I think it's best to have both. Yeah. That would be okay. my or, or just or just try it and see if you can get see if you can generate some of those organic leads and, and followers with a, a company page and it doesn't hurt. So the next question here is, can you only have followers on your personal page if you have a company page? Uh, I, I believe so. You can, you, well, not necessarily. So, so LinkedIn has a feature where people can follow you personally. So if, if, if somebody reaches out to you and wants to, you know, is, sends you a connection request and they, and you don't answer them, they can still follow you. It's um. I'll, let me show you. Um, yeah. It it no. It doesn't. Um, I th I think it um. It doesn't depend on having a company page. That's the question. Right. And you. But it, but the the, the followers. I, th I. There's no. There's no analytics for that though. Right. Right. Okay. So here's another question: Is what suggestion do you have for those who work from home and don't have an office address? Would it still look professional to share only city and state? I think so. I, yeah, I think, do, do I, I think you, that's what I put on mine. Uh, one of mine, I put it like greater Chicago land or something. Yeah, you do. You, I, I was just going to ask, you don't necessarily need uh, to put a specific street address. No. Um, unless that's a retail business, um, but you, um, you can put in a general area. So uh, that, that would be what you would do for this if there was someone that worked from home. Okay. Yep. So the next question is, is the share page button a bulk share to all the contacts? Meaning that the message automatically goes out to all of your contacts? No, so, um, so the, the share, when, when you hit that little share button, it gives you two options. You could share in a post mm -hmm. and the post would go out to, whatever followers you have and or share in a private message i prefer the share in a private message because then you could put the person's names in there like if you wanted to send it to two people you put the two per people's names and then it only goes to those two people the invite right. connection the invite connections is more of a bulk okay a bulk feature and it's so more that, of a that, stack message. It's more of a join, you know, there's no ed editing in the message. It's join, you know, follow this page. It, that's the message. So th yeah, so that's what, because I get those periodically. It's just somebody says here, there's an event or there's something else, or they're just saying, here's right. my new company. And, yeah, it's, and not, it's just, it's not, uh, I, like no personal... when you custom, I like when you customize it. Yeah, I agree here. Okay, um, let's see. Question is, should I connect with everyone who wants to connect with me or make sure our businesses are compatible? So, so I'm, I'm a little bit of an open networker. Um, my, my rule of thumb is I'll check out a person. If somebody wants to connect with me, I'll check out their profile. If, if there are shared connections, I always accept. Um, if there are 
if their profile is extremely interesting and I feel like we would mutually benefit from knowing each other, I connect. I don't, I don't see the benefit of not connecting with somebody unless they become a nuisance and they're, they're, um, which I don't get a lot of people. People are pretty friendly on LinkedIn and don't over, I mean, if you don't engage with somebody that's um, being too salesy or something, they'll usually stop. Okay. So um, the question here is, what if I don't have a website for my company yet? Should I wait to set up a LinkedIn business page until I have my website so, up and running first? So I would say no, because you're, um, you know, on the LinkedIn company page, there's a thing that where you check, it just says my, my site does not have my, my business does not have a website yet. So, so LinkedIn is, is giving you a slot. I, I, I would imagine it's best if you have the name of your company, because, um, you know, you, you don't want to have to go through the whole process again, but if you have a, if you know what your company name is going to be, I say go for it because you so, some of the things that you're going to put together for your company page are things that you're going to need for your ultimate website anyway. And and maybe it's a test test market, you know, oh, oh I like the way this looks or I don't like the way that looks. It gives you an opportunity to to see how people respond to what you're putting out there. And I think you know, especially for small business owners, there's so much involved with getting a website. And um, I know it's getting easier, but um, I feel like sometimes you just want to get started. And and a LinkedIn company page is a good way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I would, um, I would also add on to that, that uh, you should try your best to get a domain name that is relevant to your company name um, sure. so that um, you know when you do build a website it actually relates something to the to the company here so mm -hmm. uh, another question is i thought my current page was a company page how do i tell so um when you go on your profile um if you want to show no that if there's a logo, let's see. Let's see if I can do this again. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, a friend of mine is on the is on the horn right now, Jill Weeks. So uh, Jill has a great uh, business clothing line and I'm helping Jill with uh, setting up her company page. Right now, Jill, who's been in business for a long time, it still says, Trey Mimi is her business over here. And it's got this little stock logo. And when you click on Trey Mimi, nothing happens. It just goes down to the experience section. And then if you click there, it doesn't show up either. So so we went, we went through it with Jill and said, you know, she thought she had a company page, but she had never set it up. And that, that little blue logo is like the, the telltale, um, telltale sign. The only other mm -hmm. uh, thing you could do is if you went to edit your profile and, um, you know, everybody knows how to edit, edit their profile, but edit your profile and then, and then do the drop down like Christian did and see if something comes up that looks like your company name. That would be the only other way that I think you could tell. Um, the, the one thing that's really important is when you click on this work button, if, if you've, it wouldn't say, actually it would, but create a company page, that'll let you know like kind of where you're at. Okay, let's see. Um, so another question here was, I am a voiceover artist and I'm listed. So would I do a company page under my name? 
You know, I um I th- you know, the LinkedIn is a professional networking platform. So if there are if you can if you can get business from anybody in a professional networking situation, I think you need a LinkedIn company page. If you have if you're self-employed if you're self-employed or or starting a uh, starting a partnership or a business, I think it's worthwhile because it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. It's um and and you can make it what you can put as much energy into it as you want, creating posts, creating documents that that are promotional. Um, you know, I'm doing a I'm doing a discount on my voiceover. I don't know if that's a thing, but um, you can direct people to that part of your LinkedIn company page that has documents attached, and they're and they're searchable. You can you can it, it's it becomes a PDF that's attached to your LinkedIn company page, and then you can copy that link and and use it in documents and things like that. So it's it's really a powerful repository of documents as well as and pictures and and things that you want to attach to your company page and and the other thing janine i would think is um because this seems like a special case because of you know you're um i guess you're a sole proprietor or it's it, you know the company is is in effect your name um but what it does is it gives people two places to search on LinkedIn. So yeah, it, when they, it'll come up either, you know, as a company or as a person. So it, it gives you more, um, more ability or more search um, uh, criteria for, for you. So I that's think that's absolutely like, true. Not going to hurt uh, to, to do that. And yeah, if, if you're, if you if your name is yourself, your company is yourself, then yeah, there's no there's no downside to creating a company page. I don't um, think so. Right. I mean, you, you know, uh, you should probably have a uh, um, you know have have the uh, have have the website and everything on there. But it, I don't think there's any uh, any issue here. So another one is if I'm posting something every other day, are people who are my connections? Uh, and over 500 people, are they seeing my posts on their feed? Yes. But, um, you know, don't feel like over posting is a bad idea either. Because, you know, people are digesting it when they want to. So, so even if you even if you post it twice a day, the odds are that your connections, you know, they might see it, and they might not. So, so I think posting frequently is is a is a very good thing. Yeah, so it it simply appears in, if you will, in the news feed, right? Right, um, and then it's and a, then um, and then you know, yeah. it, and it depends on you know when they're when they're scrolling and how how much they scroll. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Should hashtags be your company name on your company page? Or should it be general but relevant? For example, Trey Mimi or sustainable fashion. I, I think I think you should have one hashtag as your company name if it's not too long. Um, you know the hashtags are are uh, um, up here, right? CSCMP. Oh, I work for CSCMP, and you know. You have you have to you have to build on hashtags. Um, so if you use it in every in every time, and then you get other people to start using your hashtag, then then you then you can create followers that way, because then then all that all that content that's under that hashtag can be searchable through the search bar up here. Um, but like you know. If you heard search talent, you know, there's, there's thousands and, you know, I don't even know how many people are following um, hashtag talent. 
it's I think hashtags are not um, fully fully flushed out in um, in LinkedIn just yet. I think people are just starting to figure out what what and what and why to use them. But it does it does get you a larger audience. Yeah, I mean it, it's basically um, something that is um, showing off or enhancing your brand. Um, if, if, if that's how people view you, or if that's how people are searching for you is for through you. your company, then you can create a hashtag for that. If they're searching, if you want, and, and again, there's nothing wrong with having both in the, in the post, putting two or right. three hashtags in the post, uh, because yeah. then if people are searching on sustainable fashion, they will also get that. Um, and I would think there's a place you just showed something, Janine, where you could see a hashtag. How many, uh, you know, people are following? Uh, yeah, let's see if I could get back to it. Um, let's see, I put in the hashtag CSCMP. So that's a company that I'm familiar with. See, it don't. It only showed it the first time. Isn't that weird? Yeah. So let's try something else. Um, no, yeah, I, mean, I, I know hashtags can be pretty much anything. And if, if it catches on, then it could be really good. But right. Um, I mean, you can you can put a hashtag for anything you want, but it would help if it's something I've like got another one. Hold on. Yep. You know something, oh, something that is popular. One of the problems would be that if you search for that hashtag, you get a million different. Posts. See, open right. open to work has a uh, hundred and seventy eight thousand followers. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Other. Um, let's see. Um. So would you use the hashtag within the company description? For example, hashtag voiceover. Um, I don't know, I'd have, to, I'd have to look at how they set up the company page. Cause the company page, you know, you have your description and then at the bottom you have what hashtags you wanna use. So I, I think it would be kind of redundant if it was also in the description. So you can put in a hashtag for your company name on your company page? Yeah. So um, so if you, um, let's see, let's see, CSEMP Talent Center. So if I scroll down, um, to my edit page, so see my hashtags are here. So if I, I've added three hashtags to my one of my company pages. So you can put it up to three hashtags. Yep. Okay. Interesting. All right. That answers that question. All right. Let's see if we have some more um, questions here. Um, how do you create the most impactful post to advertise your company? Should you always include a picture or a video on your post? So um, LinkedIn um, posts that include colorful images and videos are, are viewed a lot more than anything mm -hmm. else. So if you're if you're really going for impact, I would say uh, put in a video. Yeah. Yeah, I know uh, companies that I work with have have done some tests on that and have put in videos and have gotten a lot more um, views of that post if it's a if it's got a video in it. So yeah, good. So um, another question here is what time of day? Or what day is best for posting? Um, I would just say every day. 
Okay. If you could There's post no every day, that's yeah. preferable. I don't think the time matters because people are, you know, people are scrolling at all hours. Um, I use I use LinkedIn for my news sometimes. I I use LinkedIn for my, um, you know, to find out what's trending. Um, and I'm I'm looking at it a, a, a lot, almost too much, but. Um, I think I think as a rule, if if you like the platform, you're going to be scrolling at all hours. Yeah is is there a way um, is there a way? Well, I guess you could do a search to find that out. I know, for example, um, Mailchimp and some of the other marketing tools will say here's a better you know it's better to post on thursday or tuesday or send out not necessarily a post but send out an email um there are there are some studies on that but as you said the, the probably the more you post the more linkedin pays attention to you and the more your posts will appear on people's feeds and then um you know i think it it's a you know, it, 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 it's encouraging people to post. Um, and so post um, multiple, multiple times, uh, multiple days, probably not multiple times during the day, but probably multiple days every day, you said. And what I, what I think is most important is for me, at least. So I, I post about women, empowering women. I post about children and charities. I post about Chicago news. And, um, and then if, you know, if whatever client I'm working on, but um, people get to know and expect what you're, what's important to you and what, mm -hmm. what's relevant. And then they'll become your customers and your followers, because they they there's comfort there. They know what to expect. So I think being being consistent and being clear and and sometimes being, you know, making a joke and being a little colorful, all of that stuff adds to your um, your success on LinkedIn. So we have one one last question here, and then we'll have to to cut it off. It says, "I'm a photographer. In your opinion, do you think it, I would get more clients by investing more time in LinkedIn uh, than on Instagram?" So <clears throat> I'm not an expert on Instagram. Um, I'd I'd have to I'd have to say try it. I think I think LinkedIn is becoming more and more popular. Um, there's not a lot of there's a little bit of ads um, that I find, but I, I I've been told that Instagram is a little bit more salesy, um, and there's a lot of lot going on there. I I, I like the platform of LinkedIn because it's um, it's um, it's concise but uh, again i'm not an expert on instagram so i i can't tell you which way to go yeah and we we've got one last question before we shut down would you recommend a mom and pop restaurant establish a linkedin page the only social media we use are facebook and instagram uh, to showcase food and i'll answer that for you janine the answer is yes uh, definitely do a LinkedIn page. And, um, you know, thank you very much, Janine, for oh, your wisdom and your insights. And uh, uh, just a you're reminder welcome. to everyone that this will appear on uh, our YouTube channel. So if you uh, want to go to the YouTube channel, uh, go to our website, which is northchicago.score.org. Uh, and that is uh, that will have um, an icon in there for uh, YouTube and go to the channel and you can see probably about nine or 10 different uh, webinars that we have done over the past uh, several months. And um, 
And also, again, if you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for a mentor related to LinkedIn, I guess I would think Janine would be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good mentor to request. Uh, and um, but please go on to the website and request a mentor. It is free. It is confidential, and um, it is helpful for a lot of uh, a lot mm. of different businesses. So thanks uh, to everyone for joining us here tonight. And um, we will um, see you in a future uh, a future webinar here. Thanks a lot. Please connect with me on LinkedIn.